I kid you not, this goes on for hours. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to get some of those window markers, crayons. And I'm just going to color stuff on the outside of the window. So maybe that will deter her. I had someone say put an owl out here. Which I have plenty of owls. But she has a nest. So there's a nest right up there in the corner on top of that. And she's got babies in it. Three little blue eggs. So I don't want to scare her completely away. You watching that bird? That bird's crazy, huh? Yeah, you pretty girl. Pretty girl, Bona. Okay, so I have this really cool digital, like, Bluetooth, it's Govi thermometer, and I'm just waiting for my rechargeable batteries to recharge. So I'm passing the time by doing some things indoors. I need to pre-sprout my dahlias, so I need to get them in some pots with some soil. And then I also need to up-pot all my Tutti Fruities. Uh, I believe most of these are Tutti Fruities. If there's any dwarfs in here, which I'm not sure if there are, I'm actually going to take them to the greenhouse and I'm going to plant them. <laughs> but we'll see. I don't, I don't know that there's any in here. Once the batteries are charged for this, I'm headed outside to plant up Swiss chard that I have right here. And I did want to give this suggestion. If you haven't done it already, your spray bottles, um, clean them up. So I brought mine in yesterday. I got them all cleaned up. I made the mistake last year. I didn't clean them. And then I went and sprayed a bunch of my uh, micro dwarfs in the green stalks. And there, it must have been dirty or something because the day after they just took a downhill turn. And it was probably something that had festered in um, the spray bottle. So I've cleaned them up really well. I've already like pre-filled with water. I'm going to take them to the basement and just have them waiting and ready for me when the time comes that I need to use them. So usually I have one that's got neem oil, one that's got BT, and then the big one, um, I usually have the copper spray. So I like to spray my, um, tomato plants with copper. I've tried hydrogen peroxide. It's okay, but I used copper last year. I barely had any issue with disease. If you catch it early, it really, and you do it regularly, copper spray. Okay, well, uh, let me turn this fan off. So I have a, a fan blowing on all my stuff here. But I just wanted to give you a quick look at the basement. Um, now that it's all cleaned up, look at that basement floor Ooh. and I can now kind of put those curtains down I forgot to do that um I have been keeping the pellet stove going at night um it's, it's we still have some pellets that uh we need to use up this year so on cold nights I run the pellet stove the house doesn't need warmed up so I'll actually just shut I'll just shut the basement door and let the heat just concentrate down here, which the plants love, obviously, because it gets to be like 70 degrees. Um, we just keep it like really, really low, but everybody is just, I'm still starting seeds hydroponically, as you can see. I've got orange Russian and candy berry, but my tomato plants, so these need dirt added to them. So what I'll do is I'll add dirt up to the top now. Uh, I'm going to try to do that this evening. These are the ones I just started yesterday and up-potted from the hydroponic unit. And there's my sweet potatoes. Nothing with them yet. It'll be probably, I think it takes probably around two weeks uh, before I see anything going on. But I actually have it on a heat mat. This heat mat's not turned on. Um... But, what else do I want to show you? Yeah, so these are what I'm going to do on Thursday is I will take each tray out. Well, I'll actually do it while I'm putting dirt on them. Is I make note of the ones where I only have one start. So, like this one, Edder's Big Heart of Color. 
Only one of them popped up, so I'll probably just start a couple more. Just to be on the safe side, in case this one right here doesn't do well, I'd still like to have some. So I'll just make a note and then I'll go and find all the seeds and I'll start them all up again. Some that haven't popped up yet. Some that are just now popping up. It's only been a week since I started this tray. I started a couple of them on uh, Sunday last week. So this tray here needs water. So I'm just, you know, checking and seeing if they need water. But pretty successful. There's only a few where... Like this one is Dean Haley's Rainbow. I'll just probably need to start more seeds of those. Because everything else popped up except for that one. Um, let's see down here. I was having a bit of an issue. Yes, I need to water, water these trays. Oh, and another thing I wanted to say, I know this water looks gross, but banana peels. Don't leave your banana, if you're making banana peel fertilizer, like water, don't leave your banana peels in there very long. I only leave them in a few days. We eat bananas a lot in our house. So I always have bananas to add to the water, but after a few days, so I just put these in yesterday. This one, <laughs> this one looks so bad is because um, I took it to work and I had it in um, a plastic baggie and it, that's what happens when they're but a um, few days, take them out. Otherwise, it can make your um, uh, water like, like alcohol, <laughs> so, um, which isn't great for your plants. So just keep switching out your banana peels. Don't leave them in there too, too long. Um, my uh, Uranus and your asshole tomatoes are doing good, so... I've got naughty corner tomatoes going. Peppers. These are the first ones I up potted. And then the second ones. And then these are down here are the ones I did um, this week. Everybody seems to be taken to the uh, up potting just fine. Lots of lettuces. Now, the, like I said, the basement can get pretty warm down here. So some of the stuff in here has went to seed. It's fine. Um, you can still eat these. They're, you know, not woody at all. Uh, these are actually like some sort of like oniony kind of lettuce. I, it's very pungent. Do you remember the lettuce? Um, this one right here. Uh, that had such an issue germinating. And I had a couple that I thought I had started in here. So I plucked them out and put them in. Oh, this one here. I want to take that one out and... Uh, I might up pot a few of these really pretty ones so that I can try to make them go to seed outside this summer and have a bunch of seeds of that variety. But here are, oh, I don't know if you can see. It is very pretty. There it is. Very pretty. So both of those, there's one and there's two, are doing just fine. And then here's the, uh, I think it's the Cove ground cherry. I up potted it. It's doing well. I only had one of those, I think. Um, and then my cucumbers are coming along just fine. That's a, um, I need to take this out. This is a, ooh, look, flowers. One of the, um, whatchamacallits, micro dwarfs that I forgot to take outside. But, Oh, and here's the two corbachis. Um, I'm going to keep them in here. I was thinking that I might go plant them in the greenhouse and just make sure the greenhouse never goes below 50 degrees. But I'm a little worried it's too soon. So I might wait till next weekend. And then I have all that celery there too. There's pink celery and what other kind of celery? But I need to, uh, I need to plant that too soon. What else did I plant? Uh, oh, these are just more peppers. More peppers that I started that didn't do very well with germination, so I just started more. 
uh, I just keep starting seeds. Just keep starting seeds. So hopefully when it's time to plant everything up, I will uh, have enough stuff, more than enough stuff, and I won't be wishing that I had started more. So in taking all of the micro dwarfs outside, of course, uh, there were some that just did not do very well. They had died or looked very sickly. I will update you on this. So there were three that I had to plant with the, that I started hydroponically and I could not get the roots untangled. So I planted the plastic thing. All three of those died. So don't plant the plastic pot. It just hinders the growth, I guess. I'm not really sure, but the roots are all tangled and all three of them died. So <laughs> that did not work. So if you have to, just tear up some roots and get your little hydroponic basket off because if you don't, you're gonna have a dead plant probably. All right, this is where I'm going to pre-sprout my dahlias. I just wanna be able to keep an eye on them, make sure the soil stays moist. A few of them actually already sprouted. I have done a video on pre-sprouting dahlias. I think a couple of videos. Um, I can try to link that one below if I remember, but that's just a random uh, micro dwarf that I forgot to take out. But um, I just, basically you just bury the tubers in soil and I moistened the soil really well. One tuber per container, so I had seven that uh, looked pretty decent. There were a few that I had saved last year, and then when I uncovered the box, uh, they looked shriveled and crusty and just not good. So that project's done. Now back upstairs to uh, up pot my tutti fruity line of mini dwarfs. Hi, Roo. Okay. Well, this project did not nearly get finished. <laughs> I still have to up pot all of these. There's a couple more Tutti Fruities, but I got Tutti Fruity Mandarin. So I just doubled up these really big pots. Uh, I believe these are two or three gallon pots. I think maybe three gallon. So two Tutti Fruity Mini Dwarfs will do just fine. So I did Mandarin, Cherry. Um, What was the other one I did? That's Mandarin and melon. So I still have um, stuffing red, two of those that I need to do, and then there's something else. Uh, a bunch of micro dwarfs. So like dynamite delights in here, Venus, a tiny totem. So I ran out of potting mix. So I need to go make up some more of my mixture. I've said it before. I do peat moss, vermiculite, perlite, my own mixture, half of that, and then I do the other half a entire bag of Fox Farm potting mix. And then I mix that all together so I can stretch that fantastic Fox Farm mix. Um, I just stretch it a little bit further because it's kind of pricey. So I'm going to go make that, and then this is just going to have to wait. Um, I'm going to take these out to the greenhouse. I got to get going with uh, outside stuff. So I did add some of the mushroom soil on the top here. But there's my pile of, you can see the color difference, garden soil and I've scraped most of the mushroom soil off of here. There's some here good bit right there that I need to do but I just wanted to show you <laughs> exactly what I have to do to get this all the way to the bottom of the hill. I don't know if I'll be able to hold this and wheelbarrow down at the same time but I'm gonna try. So I filled it up. This is probably about my 25th load that I've done this with today. So let's see Maybe I can set you down in here. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Let's see if I can get you a better view.
Okay. Oh, we made it. So, I think I have maybe two, maybe three, wheel three wheelbarrow fulls left that I have to do. I have to finish this little corner here. So I've done all of that. And then I need to do all of these buckets, just a light layer. Oh, that's a lot of buckets. So I did do those all the way down. And I have done that bed, that bed, and this bed today. So I did get all cleaned up. And I got all ready to do some videos and now I'm just like mentally I don't want to I really should do that tomato taste test but where are my flip-flops so I don't know it's 6 30 there they are and I was just looking at what I've got as far as footage for this vlog so far and I thought I could end this with just a little something more. So I'm gonna take you outside and show you what I did do after I showered. <laughs> Cause I just got working on other projects and <sighs> didn't want to sit down and record videos. <laughs> a little chilly out here. So I had some winter sewing jobs that I wanted to open up and start planting so I've made a deal with myself that every day after work I'm going to plant four to five jugs that way come Thursday these will all be planted let's see if I hold myself to that so there they all are I don't really know how many there is I might have to plant more than four or five but Lots of fun stuff. I did do a little clip for the winter, winter sewing reveal video, but that'll come later. So what did I do? I planted up the Swiss chards. Let's see what Mr. Ben's doing. He tore down. <laughs> There's all the stuff that needs burned. So he did tear that down. And I don't think I even showed you this. Hi, babe. The bed that uh, I, I did finish. I did finish that bed, so... How's it going? You made a mess? Oh, no. Oh, there's the metal. What happened here? Ah. Okay. <laughs> it's just going to go right there. What? You either have it a little bit shorter or it goes right here. Okay. Is that good? Sure. Uh, yeah. So Ben thought when we first built these that he would put this pipe and like this gravelly. <laughs> what the hell was that? And this gravelly stuff that it would be. Is that cement? Yeah. That was helpful. It kept it from completely falling. I know. Sorry. Oh. 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 Okay, I'm getting out of here. Woo! I just got to show them one more thing. I did treated all my hay bales again so I'm doing them once a week um, putting some high nitrogen fertilizer on them and there's my snapdragons coming back Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. oh and then I don't know if you guys remember I can throw a picture of me standing by them but these are my um prairie sun I think Rebecca, yeah, Prairie Sun Rebecca. I am planting more of those. I would love to have like just a crap ton of them all around this fence. They're incredible. But my comfrey, when I first planted it in the pot, it like took off. Um, it was just the root. Um, but lately, at least in the house, it's 
kind of looking a little rough. So I'm hoping that now that I've got it out here, and you supposedly you can split it really easily, like you'd have tons of comfrey plants, but apparently comfrey is like really good to put like in the planting hole of plants and stuff. So I'd like to have a lot of this. Like maybe I could have a comfrey and then a prairie sun rudbeckia and just every other plant would be that. <laughs> okay, let's haul myself back up these steps now and back inside and see if I can't muster up the will to record at least one video. But for this vlog, I think that's gonna be it. Oh, no it's not. I'm gonna show you one more thing. In the greenhouse. Almost bedtime, girls. Yeah. Okay. So, I had these in one gallon grow pots. These are the two. What I had saved seeds for was Thornburn's terracotta. But this is a potato leaf. And someone told me that Thornburn's terracotta is not potato leaf. So I don't know whether the seeds got crossed or just planted the wrong thing. So we'll see what turns out. But I did plant those up, put some mushroom compost around them, watered them in real good. Um, I think what's going to happen here soon is I'm just slowly going to, I mean, I could, I could eat some of this broccoli perhaps, but everything has gone to seed, of course. I just, this change in temperature in the greenhouse, I can't ever seem to get ahead of cabbage. I thought this would be the year. <laughs> Even my kale, my kale over here has gone to seed. So I plan on planting a bunch of dwarfs in here. So and I do want to amend the bed with mushroom soil while I've got it. So I think what I'll do is just for the next couple weekends, pull this out and give it to the chickens as fodder. Just let them have some. I might, um, cause even the leaves of cabbage, it's quite tasty. So you could, I could use this as, as I would a cap, head of cabbage. Yeah, tastes just like cabbage. So I could make some cabbage soup this coming weekend and use up some of these leaves. I don't know how cabbage freezes. I mean, I know it freezes just fine after it's cooked, but I think that's what I'm gonna do because I, I have enough cabbage, like seed, that I don't need to save seeds from these that have gone to seed. And they pretty much all I probably won't get anything. So I've got some cabbage in the winter sowing drugs, jugs. I'll plant those up tomorrow and see if I get anything out of those. But planted some strawberries in here. They're not looking so hot. <laughs> uh, this one looks like it's doing okay. But until the next one, guys, I hope y'all enjoy your day. Go plant something. Look at all these volunteer strawberry plants. I'll never... Look at the runners. They're just running, running. You could use strawberries as a ground cover if you wanted. Look at these. Oh, so pretty. Oh. And then this one. This one is... I've got the tag for it. Oh, but the name of it is gone. Oh. Fire Chief. They're all coming back.